Okay, the first question is, do you believe it is important to go to the doctor, look after your health? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. 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 Definitely. yes. I think it's very important to go to your doctor, but you need to find a doctor who treats you properly and listens to what you actually yeah. have to say. And if you have complaints and they need to listen and they need to talk to you yeah. and understand and listen to what you're saying too. Uh, it depends on what type of health yes. too. True. Yeah. Very true. Mental health, exactly. Yeah, and I think it's also important that you treat it as an individual, not as not necessarily as just someone who has Down syndrome. Because even though lots of people have Down syndrome, no no two people are the same. So it's important that they see you as an individual with your own individual health concerns. The next uh, question is: um, Do you have any uh, funny stories about visiting the doctor? I remember one time I actually got pneumonia. Of course, I went to a hospital, but I think the funny thing was that there was this really cute doctor, and I thought it was Dr. Dreamy. Mm. And <laughs> Dr. Dreamy? <laughs> Dr. Dreamy? Of course, they were trying to find a vein in me, trying to get blood up, but he put so many needles in front of me. I was trying to go, oh my god. Because you were trying to be brave because he was Dr. Dreamy. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think doctors know enough about Down syndrome? Uh. There are many misconceptions about disabilities. I, I personally think that unfortunately some doctors just have this um, preconceived idea of what Down syndrome is and there's all this, this fear around it because doctors don't know enough. Um, no. On more than one occasion we've had doctors say, oh you have a child with Down syndrome. Yeah. You know there's tests for that. The subtext of that line is that, you know, there's testing for this and you could have, you probably should have had an abortion and not had a child with a disability. But that would have taken away one of the greatest things that we've ever had in our lives. So just because there's testing and you find out you have a child with a disability and you have Down syndrome, that's not a reason to get rid of that child. You know, you guys here are showing People with Down syndrome are amazing people. And we should be treated as an individual, not Absolutely, as Chris. someone with a disability or not. Yeah. Yeah. I found out that um, Max had Down syndrome before he was born, but the doctor that I saw, when he spoke to me, he said there was a one in three risk of me having a child with Down syndrome. And uh, I think that that word invokes fear and anxiety. And if doctors in general can tell people that, that I had a one in three chance, of my child having Down syndrome. The word chance invokes completely different feelings than the word risk. If there was one thing I could tell um, that particular doctor, it would be just change the, the way he spoke, just a couple of words here or there and thought about the implications of, of what he was saying. I normally go for um, the uh, female doctors because they're nice. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> really? Yes. That doesn't surprise me. <laughs>